One of the most challenging storm water issues facing El Paso is flooding that occurs when rainwater flowing from the mountains gets trapped by the elevated portion of Interstate 10 between Cotton and Pieras. Signature sites of this storm has been the flooding on I-10 at Piedras. Traffic was backed up for hours, much of the day in fact. Finally, crews removed part of the dividing barrier in the center median on the freeway to get cars off the freeway and redirected the westbound traffic into the eastbound lanes to relieve that congestion. Uh, everything's flooding out right now. Uh, a lot of cars getting stuck. This aerial view of central El Paso shows how Interstate 10 separates the mountains from the river. Interstate 10 is built on an elevated platform, so water that falls on the mountain runs downhill toward the freeway, but cannot cross the elevated roadbed to get to the river. This causes flooding of Interstate 10 and the area along Gateway Boulevard. El Paso Water Utilities is undertaking a major project to alleviate this problem. A new underground pipeline will be installed from the north side of the freeway to the Rio Grande River. The part of the line shown here in blue will use gravity to convey the water. After the gravity main passes under the railroad yard, it will enter a new 12.7 acre foot stealing basin that is 20 feet deep. Two other nearby parcels of land will be used for surface drainage and future pond expansion. A new 175 cubic foot per second pump station will be constructed adjacent to the stealing basin. This fully automated station will rely on El Paso Electric for power, but it will have an on-site backup generator to carry the load during utility outages. When stormwater fills the stealing basin, the pump station will transfer the water to a new force main which is shown here in orange. The force main will carry the water under pressure to the river. The pump station will consist of three large vertical turbine pumps that are mounted in a 35-foot deep concrete wet well. Three 500 horsepower motors will be mounted above the wet well. Water from the stilling basin will flow into the wet well. As water enters the wet well, it will pass over an OG crest designed to create a natural scouring action. Automated controls will turn on the pumps when the water level reaches a certain level. The pumps will cycle on and off as water level in the stilling basin changes. The complete system, which consists of the gravity main, stilling basin, pump station, and force main, is a multi-million dollar undertaking by El Paso Water Utilities that will prevent flooding in the central area.